I was meant to make a vlog outside today, but Finland disagrees. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely not. I was meant to make this vlog outside as I was meant to test this, this is the Sony 20mm f1.8 G Master lens. You can check it out right there, I'll show it to you. It's a beautiful lens and I was meant to test this outside for vlogging. Since yesterday I went outside to take some photos with it, but yeah, Finland happened. <laughs> Basically in Finland you never know what is gonna happen, what is the weather gonna be like in April. First it's like 10 degrees plus and then it's, yeah, that. So. No thanks. But I still want to give my first impressions about this lens. What could you use it for and what is it good for? So, let's go. Okay, I have never actually owned a wide-angle fixed lens like this. So therefore, I was excited to give this one a test since this is actually a pretty affordable lens. When you buy it new here in Finland, it's about 900 bucks and secondhand you might find this for 650 bucks, which is a pretty decent price. Yesterday I went out to take some photos with it. I'll, I'll just drop them here into this video so you can see what kind of results you can get out of this. And today I was meant to go and take some portraits with this of Maddie, but yeah, Finland happened. <laughs> but this lens was actually a positive, positive surprise. It is very, very lightweight. It is a small in size, especially if you take this one out. It is a small sized lens with a 67 millimeter filter thread. And yeah, I think that this lens could be a fantastic vlogging lens just because of the weight and the size of it. Actually, I could just switch this one right there now so you could see. I'm right now using the 16-28 f2.8, so I'm gonna open this lens up to f1.8 so you can see the difference it has when it comes to lighting. Just a second. Okay, so here we are with the 20 millimeter f1.8, all wide, <laughs> and as you can see, the amount of light is like, crazy when compared to this the 16 to 28 f 2.8 now i need to dial down just a moment i'm right now using my light at 48 percent i'm gonna dial it down where do we i'm gonna have to check the screen so that i can get it about right that seems to be pretty close so i just had to dial down my key light all the way to 25 percent so i dropped the power of the key light with 20% roughly <laughs> and this is what you get and as you can see the background is way way more lit now when I'm using the f 1.8 aperture and I think I think that this is pretty good image I'm right now about one feet away from the lens which is the distance I would have if I would be vlogging handheld it would be something like this and I think the background looks pretty decent now and the image that it creates out of me is also very good very sharp and yeah the autofocus seems to be working very nice it focuses into 0.63 feet so 20 centimeters 19 centimeters something like that so I think that yeah I can get as close as this <laughs> it's pretty fun, actually. This might actually be a very, very good vlogging lens for someone who is using the Sony a7 IV or any other Sony full-frame camera. With APS-C sensor crop, it would be a 35mm lens if I'm not calculating myself all the way into something. Isn't it 1.5 times 1.6? Something like that. But it equals as a roughly around 35 millimeter lens. So with an APS-C sensor camera, it might be a little bit too tight. But with a full frame, yeah, 
I think it looks pretty good. I might actually pick one of these up just for vlogging once I get some money from somewhere. <laughs> but what would be other perfect uses for this lens besides vlogging? Well, the first things that come to my mind are real estate photography because of the very mild distortion and of course landscape photography would be amazing with this lens because it is a prime lens. It is a fixed lens. So these are always way more sharper than zoom lenses like the 16 to 28 right here. So I think that this would serve me very well with two areas of photography and maybe even some portraits because the distortion is not that bad. So if I would like to get a real close up portrait of someone it might actually work. Of course, if I place myself here into the corner, it starts to bend me a little bit. Same here. But it doesn't make as bad distortions as many other wide angle lenses. As you can see, my hat doesn't grow out to be like whoop, a mile long. <laughs> so this is a very good lens for even for portraits. And since it has the wide f1.8 aperture, I think that this would be a perfect lens for weddings or event photography, especially if the amount of light is limited. But now I'm gonna switch back to the 16 to 28 so that I can show a little bit of the things that I love about this lens to you. Just a second. Okay, and we are back with the 16 to 28 millimeters. Now I need to boost up the light again, all the way up to 45% and now yeah, I think that is pretty good now. And I'm gonna show you the one thing that I absolutely fell in love with this lens, and this is the aperture ring. I mean, what else can you ask as a photographer than a tactile feeling aperture ring? It has the click switch right there, so you can make it work without that click, but this, this sound, I mean, listen to this. I'm just gonna put it right next to the microphone. The tactile feeling of knowing when you are switching the aperture on the lens is something that mm, I just love. There's no sense how much I love that. And it also has an autofocus, manual focus switch right there and a customized button on the side. So it pretty much has everything that I can ask for a lens. If it would have another customizable button here on the side, it would be even better. But since it has that one, I'm, I'm happy with that. And like I said, it is very, very lightweight, very small in size. I mean, look at this. It is just around that size, so it fits nicely into the palm of your hand and it doesn't take that much space in your camera bag. And yeah, this is a perfect lens when you're just going out there just to shoot some street photography, make vlogs, make videos, these kind of things. This is a perfect lens to throw on your a7 IV or basically any other full frame Sony camera. All right, that's all I have for you guys for this video. It was a quick one and I'm sorry that I didn't get to do much vlogging with it because I have to return it tomorrow and Finland happened outside. So <laughs> maybe better luck next time. And I will be making a little bit more in-depth review about this lens once I get to use it for vlogging later on. But that's all I have for you guys for this video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Thanks as always for watching and as always I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.